there's two different types of hunts that happen. In, in my area, we have the trophy hunt and then the resident hunt. They can literally walk across the river where we do our bear viewing in the springtime and be shot by hunters. Ethically, they are not compatible whatsoever. The conflict is, is, uh, is resident hunters. Where I am, the problem is not the guide outfit, it's the problem is the resident hunters. We recognize that it's, that the, that it's a very um, emotional issue. Mother Nature is brutal. You would think that, well, if you didn't hunt them, the bears would live happily ever after. That is just not the case. Assuming, again, there is some discretionary mortality, we would select to hunt grizzly bears. Blonde body and black legs, and that's what I was looking for in a bear. So in actual fact, by harvesting an old boar grizzly like this, you actually most definitely increase the survival rate of the grizzly bear population. Guys are going out with guns, trying to shoot big male grizzly bears, and they call themselves the Cub Avengers. It's based on a fiction. There are a lot of lies told about grizzly bears for obvious reasons. Uh, those reasons are around hunting. All of these arguments that are presented are simply an attempt to justify the emotion, the thrill of the kill. And kill an animal that, in fact, terrifies a lot of people. Lewis and Clark, they started this myth of this fearsome grizzly bear. Hunting a dangerous animal like that, uh, an animal that can hunt you as well. There's I just shoot up in the air, down on the ground. 